Hello and welcome to MyCatSite.com and here just to do first of all a quick review and then we're going to go on and show dynamic input as a new way to input points. So in the beginning there was absolute points and drawing a line from absolute points on AutoCAD's screen and from there we went on to learn uh, relative points so from one point relative to the previous point, 0 in the x, 2 in the y. And from there we turned on uh, polar so that we could do some uh, direct distance entry. From the O snap I could draw a line that was two units out. And then we went in and did some object tracking so that I didn't really have to enter points at all. I could just draw a circle based on the midpoint of two other lines and then draw it out to there. So all that works very well. Polar, O snap, O tracks. And now I'm just going to input dynamic entry input. And from here you'll see that all the commands and inputs that's usually on the command line is now up on the screen where you're drawing. So now I can draw and it's still entering points and I'm really not changing anything other than the way it's displayed on the screen. So I can still enter points and angles just like I would with polar settings except everything is now displayed on the screen. From there I can still use the same uh, dynamic input and it will also work for other commands such as circles. I can enter in the radius of one or I can also enter in the diameter and just enter in D enter and now if I enter in a diameter of one, a circle will be half the size. Now from there, you can just think of all the different commands you've learned. And here's one for example, text. And I'm just going to use my down arrow, which gives you the options. And now I can put in a justification for my text, middle center, for example. And I select a point on the screen enter my text height and you'll see it shows up on the screen and now with my rotation I can just go ahead and enter in text as I go and enter and just let me put that on the correct layer so there you have it um, dynamic inputs kind of a new way of doing it um, I prefer the older way myself. It keeps the clean screen. Everything's less cluttered, but the new kids seem to like it. So try both ways and see which one you prefer. Thanks for watching mycadsite.com.